Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. 380 ACP is back. All you have to do is look at the manufacturers that are making 380 ACP handguns. And that's why I have five on the table now, just to make my point that 380 has made a huge comeback after years of people dogging on 380, saying it is underpowered, it's overpriced, and all of that. Shooters are picking up 380 handguns. Manufacturers wouldn't produce them if they're not. And we look at the Ruger Security 380, mid-size handgun. Walther PD 380, mid-size 380 ACP. Here we have the Gearson MC14 BDA, mid-size 380 ACP handguns. But then we have the subcompact handguns, which brought a lot of people to 380 to begin with. You remember the LCP and the, the Caltech P3AT, they, they were very popular, very much a pocket carry gun. And now we have the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard and the Ruger LCP Max. So we're going to talk about these. We're going to compare them. But I first want to give a rundown with the Bodyguard because this is new or newer, shall I say. It has an MSRP of $449. You can pick it up for right around the upper threes at this time. I think that will drop over time. But here we have a 10, and over here is a 12-round magazine. All right, it's very small, lightweight, 2.75-inch barrel. This is the TS model. It has a thump safety there. It's rather tight, but it is ambidextrous. Very nice grip texturing, easy disassemble, slide serrations that are very usable, nice sight picture, tritium front dot, serrated black rear sight, uh, a flat trigger that breaks right around five and a half pounds. That is very nice. This is a striker fired pistol, very thin, very lightweight. And I think they did a fine job. With the 10 round mag, you're getting two finger contact. That pinky wraps around the bottom of the grip. And with the 12 round mag, you're looking at three finger contact. All right. So the bodyguard hit the ground running. People were super excited. Once again, making the point that 380 is back in the good graces of many people that carry handguns. I, I, I think it's a fact. And it's also a fact because we knew the popularity of the Ruger LCP Max was one of a kind. When they came out with this, it was, let's just say, blew up the internet. I really believe that. And so many people say they dropped this in the pocket and they carry it all day long. It's just so easy to do. So let's take a look at these two pocket carry guns and check them out. We'll do a slight comparison. Let's first do a size comparison, then we'll talk about the price. The Ruger on the left actually has a longer barrel, 2.8 inches. The Bodyguard has 2.75, minuscule, but a little bit longer. And you can see the slide goes a little bit longer with the Bodyguard. All right, if we look at the grip, both have 12 round mags. Nah, I would say equal width, equal length, 12 round mags. 10 round mag available, 12 round mags, same with the LCP Max. Now, the MSRP on the LCP Max is 479. However, you can pick them up in the mid 300s. So don't be fooled by the MSRP. Ruger comes up with high MSRPs. It drops significantly at the gun store. This will drop over time mark my words. However, at this current time, you're looking at about 20 bucks more at your local gun store compared to the LCP Max. MSRP lower, MSRP higher, selling lower, selling just a little bit higher. The grip texturing, I have to give it to the Bodyguard 2.0. I think it's very nice little smoother on the side panel, back strap, front strap. I like the way that feels. I don't have a problem with this. This isn't bad at all, but you see that? It shakes a lot. <laughs> it's very loose. Is that a problem? It hasn't been for me, but I don't know. It's just very loose. This, this does not do that. Here we have a strike of fire. Here we have a hammer fire. Both have tritium front sights. Both have serrated black rear sights. I don't have an issue with either of them. I don't have an issue with the size. I think they both work 
for their intended purposes. I showed the bodyguard with a five and a half pound trigger right there. Very similar. You have to cock that that hammer back. A little different being that it's hammer fired. Reset I would say is the same. I think they both work for their intended purposes. I like the night sights. I like the sight pictures. Striker fire, hammer fire. I don't certainly have a, a preference. Price, not that great of a difference. Size, um, not that great of a difference either. But let's check out the weight because I think a lot of people are going to carry this and they're going to want to know the difference in the weight. 12 ounces even with the Bodyguard 2.0. And here we have 11 ounces. So it's, it's an ounce lighter. And we can account for that ounce with the length of the slide. Okay, just goes a little bit longer. So both very lightweight, small, pocket carry, 380 ACPs, both double stack, nice capacity. Both are nice. If I had to choose one, I've owned this for quite a while. Well, since its launch. Have not owned this as long. I would go with the Bodyguard 2.0. I just think it, it feels a little bit better. The disassemble is so much easier as well. You just move this lever down and then off comes the slide from the frame. With the LCP Max, you have to remove that pin. Is that a problem? No, but you can't lose the pin. If you lose if you lose the pin, you're in trouble. And so I don't have a problem with it, but some people do. But that that's the beef on that. It's it's just a nicer and easier disassemble process and quite a bit quicker. I just feel like this is a little stronger made. Now both these companies are in serious competition with each other. Ruger and Smith and Wesson, you know they are out after each other and Smith and Wesson was not going to be outdone by the popularity of the Ruger LCP Max. I think both these will sell extremely well. People will have their preferences, but I just think this one's just a little better built. This one has never never let me down so far, so I don't have anything to bad, uh, bad to say about it. I can't say that, oh, you know, it, it only gets through half a mag. You're not going to hear me say that. I just think this one's a little better built. The popularity of 380 is back, and the evidence of that is with these two handguns selling off the shelves. Ask anybody that works at a gun store. They will tell you. And pocket carry is around, it's heavy, people do it all the time, whether as a primary or a backup, and these are two of the most popular models out there right now. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.